I am Lauren Thau, librarian at Portobello High School. Okay, well, Lauren, um, can you tell us a bit about what you did before you came out here, what you were thinking of trying to achieve? Before we came to Gallipoli, um, we had done a, a project with BBC Radio Scotland, which involved researching the school's role of honour from World War One, and after we'd researched the role of honour and found the details for the soldiers, we interviewed historians, we, we talked to local history specialists, we went to places in Edinburgh that were linked with the war, such as Kelton Jail, which had um, conscientious objectors there. And then we focused more on the soldiers that went to Gallipoli and looked at them in a bit more detail, tried to look for relatives. And, and did you find well. that there were relatives from the uh, soldiers who'd gone on your role of honour? I found one relative mm -hmm. that I've managed to speak to. Um, it was a bit difficult. On, I looked on Ancestry and on other internet sites and put messages out. Yeah. But it was only that one lady that got back in touch. And who was that person? That was what um, the great niece, or great great niece of Walter Chalmers. And and who was actually killed at Gallipoli? Who was killed okay. at Gallipoli? Yes. Did and we he visit was, his grave? Yes, we visited his grave. Uh, well, we visited his memorial at Hellas, and um, he so he he went to Portobello High School. He lied about his age. He, he, on the Commonwealth War Graves information, it says he's 19, but yeah. he was actually 18 when he died. Yes. Um, so he was underage, and actually, the, the lady that I spoke to had just been to Gallipoli herself for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Really? Yeah, and she she, she was able to send us a photo, okay. and I think that makes a big difference being able to see the, the person. Yeah, yeah. So, um, now that we're leaving, um, from your point of view as well as from the children, what? Do you feel that the expectations have been achieved? Oh, definitely. Probably. I think it's... Well, I didn't really know what to expect. I'd obviously, I also really, like researched a bit about Gallipoli before we came, but yeah. I just wasn't sure what to expect. And actually seeing things like the trenches in real life and them all just being there and... I, I, yes, it was just amazing. Yeah. And, um, couldn't really have achieved that without the visit, I'm guessing. Really. Oh, <laughs> definitely not, no. And it's it's just, as well, driving around and seeing the different landing beaches. You can look at it in photos, but it's it's so much different to actually be there and yeah. see how high yeah. the ground is and everything. And also, I was surprised at how many cemeteries and memorials we saw as we, we drove around, yeah, they seem to be place. everywhere, and I think yeah. you don't you can be given the numbers of, of soldiers that died, but I don't think that that really makes as big an impact as seeing yes. the graves or seeing the names on Hellas Memorial. Yeah. Um, from the educational point of view, what would you identify have been the kind of principal learning outcomes for the students? Um, well, I think learning more about exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, some more information. So they they know now different the battles. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, obviously, not they're never going to know every single thing, but no. they they know the main things. I think identifying with the soldiers, particularly from the ones from their school, getting a more of a sense of what life was like, but also the Turkish element as well. We went to the museum that, that talked about the, the Turkish soldiers. Um, and just getting a bit of an idea of the culture. I think it, it teaches you about the human impact of conflict, okay. yes. and I think that's relevant for today as well. Okay, so that, 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 but by actually studying this, you try and explore something from another perspective. Yeah, so, yeah. and okay. I've, I've heard this all, there's the students when they're here talking about more modern day conflicts as well, yes. and I think it all ties in together. Issues in Syria and, and yeah. South Turkey at the moment, it and, that, and it does bring it home. Um, and, and also um, speaking about modern day regiments, some yeah. of the students I think have got some family members in, in yes, the, the yeah, services at the moment. Some, yeah. um, and I think it's link, just linking the modern to the history yes. of yeah. the services. Definitely the trenches, yeah. I hadn't, I just, I, I didn't really know what to expect. I kind of thought that they might be a bit more kind of touristy. Yes. But they're just there in the, in the ground, and you know, there's, you've got all of the, the vegetation around them. I thought there'd be a bit a big tourist centre and museum yeah. and that. 
And then also just walking through the, the track between the farmer's fields yes. and hearing that after he ploughs it, bits of relics pop up. Yeah. And it's quite hard to believe that that's still happening when it was so long ago. It just shows how much of an impact it had on the land. Yeah.